Call to order the City of Lakeport Planning Commission for regular meeting on Wednesday, July 8, 2015. And if you call the roll. Commissioner Wicks? Here. Commissioner Copper? Here. Commissioner Taylor? Here. Chair Gaynor? Here. Commissioner Russell is absent. All right, uh, acceptance of the agenda. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda? Honorable uh, well, Chair, my motion we accept the agenda as posted for tonight. I have a motion by Commissioner Taylor. Do I have a second? I'll second that. I have a second by Commissioner Topper. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> so carried. Uh, citizen input. No, no requests. No citizen input. Any comments from staff? Yeah, just real quickly. Um, uh, You'll get your minutes from the special meeting or next round. Uh, you make it Linda work pretty hard on yeah. the, the three-hour meeting yeah. and, only, and only a week turnaround time. Um, the good news first, um, we do have our, our new planner. His name is Dan Chance. He's coming from uh, the Grass Valley area. Um, he'll be starting with us next week. So that's been a long-awaited um, background, of, as, as he'll probably attest to, took way longer than anyone anticipated for uh, a number of just unfortunate reasons. So we're glad to have him starting here uh, very shortly. And um, Andrew will also be making his official transition over to the Public Works Department to uh, be our safety officer uh, and coordinator over there. So um, I still got two weeks with Andrew. I plan on sucking as much knowledge out of him as possible. And uh, he's only going to be a phone call away. So I know he's excited about the new opportunities also. Hopefully our next meeting I'll be able to introduce uh, Dan Chance to you guys personally. Um, in regards to the Verizon appeal hearing uh, yesterday, the, in, in a nutshell, the City Council did grant the request by the applicant for a 60-day continuance to review alternative designs, alternative locations, and um, in the words of the applicant, some alternative locations on the, on the existing site as well. Uh, the City Council um, kind of made it clear that they were really not that interested in looking at alternative designs on that site. That, you know, that, that kind of their findings and what they heard from the public was that that, was, that site was not adequate. So the applicant didn't make it clear as far they, they did make it clear that they were going to be doing a new radio frequency analysis to take a second look at some of the other sites. but. Really, they kind of stated in a nutshell that that was, you know, their most viable site. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, our staff, and myself mostly, will continue to work with them through that 60-day period to see if we can uh, reach some sort of agreement. If they do agree upon finding another location, they'll submit us a new application. We'll process that application, and then I'll come back to the body for review. Um, otherwise, the city council, if for some reason, they do decide that an alternative design. Um, for that location works, they, they kind of have several different options. They do have the power to modify the conditions that you guys approved. Uh, they can deny it, obviously, or they can uh, remand it back to this body for review. So um, we'll see what happens there. Um, but that's set for the September 1st um, City Council. And that's all I have to report this time. Okay. Anything from any of the commission? No. Okay. All right, moving on to the consent calendar. Um, let's see, yeah. Probably no action there. There's nothing, no yeah, I was so, just yeah, saying we don't have sorry. any minutes, so I don't know if we need to just, I guess we just state that the minutes are not here and we'll do them next time. Okay, so the regular calendar, um, up with the uh, F15-02 slash CE15-04, uh, with Stephen Williams. Yep. Yeah, real quickly, uh, this project is to approve a, uh, a, a fence that exceeds the front yard setback height limit of three feet. Um, it also includes uh, fencing going along the eastern property boundary, um, also at six feet in height, but as that's um, outside the setback area, it's not physically a part of the approval process. The area that we're looking at right now is the area that goes across the, um, the frontage of 16th Street. They're looking at installing a gate 
and uh, a new six foot wrought iron fence, roughly in the same position as where there's an existing three foot high uh, picket fence. Uh, all the landscaping and everything that's existing will be uh, maintained. And um, really the purpose of this project is uh, the property here at 416th Street um, used to be uh, together owned uh, in conjunction with the property at number 2 C Street, uh, which was operated as a bed and breakfast inn. And the owner at that time utilized the driveway that goes on to the subject property uh, to provide additional parking area for that bed and breakfast property. Now the properties are owned separately. Um, it's, it's confusing. Right now the, the other property, number 2, 16th Street, is uh, bank owned. And uh, so folks do often come to look at that property. Uh, often will utilize the driveway for number 4, 16th Street. And uh, even it sounds like by the applicants, uh, the statements uh, even you know walk out on their dock. So this is more to kind of delineate that property line, uh, make it clear where the number two property is versus the number four property. It was recently purchased, actually. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, Sarah, the, the number two street property was recently purchased from the bank. So this was good timing on that part to move forward with it. Staff's in support of the design. I think it's uh, very good. The open design uh, doesn't block any lake views there, being the open lot iron. The existing landscape's going to be maintained. It doesn't create a site distance problem. Uh, even though there is a driveway serving number two, um, 16th Street, um, right there. The open design um, you know, allows for visibility to be maintained, and it's, it's a nice looking fence design. So, staff's recommending to Okay, thank you. Uh, any comments on the commission? I just have a question regarding the land use application. I noticed that. Uh, is 320, but I don't see any delineation marked off as to whether this is a variance, even though the statement from applicant is a variance. Um, I'm sort of curious as to the amount and how that was derived. Yeah, it should be checked there. You'll see on the left hand column there, uh, fence request, the 20717 mm -hmm. plus the um, categorical exemption. Fee of one thirteen oh five, just a couple boxes ahead of there. Okay. Thank so you. Which, which comes up to that amount. Thank you. Any others? Um, I did a site visit on Monday and I checked out their location and I think it looks really good. I think it would be a good approval. I did one, and then obviously yeah, the applicants in attendance as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have an we story. don't have any uh, <laughs> others. I'll go ahead and open this for public discussion. If you feel like you want to say something, you can. Otherwise, we'll just. I, we're, we're just doing it to try to make it look as nice as we can. Have some security in there, too. Yeah. July the 4th, I had somebody go climb on the roof. Why don't you, uh, if you wouldn't mind, come up, state your name, and spell your last name so we got it. Uh, uh, I'm Steve Williamson, uh, W-Y-L-L-I-M-S-O. Um, you've already got the description of some of the stuff that's going on, but the line before, we had some drunk guy climb on the roof of my garage and run back and forth several times and then walked down my balcony while my daughter was sitting in the living room just watching him walk on. So, yeah, we want some security in there at night. We want to be able to close the gate. This is the best alternative we can come up with. It maintains kind of the aesthetics of it because it does look really pretty right now. And not so hopefully, it will get Thank you. Any others? I'll go ahead and close the public forum. And uh, anything else that you guys have? All right. So I'm going to look at a motion then. Honorable uh, Chair, I move that the request to allow fencing in the excess of three feet height limitations in the front yard setback area of a property located at 416th Street be approved based on the findings that there is conformance with section 17.28.010.02. of the Lake Court Municipal Code. Planning Commission approval of the fence request shall be subject to the conditions of the approval 
specified in the staff report and or as amended by the Planning Commission at the public meeting. All right, I have a motion by Commissioner Taylor. Do I have a second? I'll second that. And a second by Commissioner Copper. Uh, can you call the roll? Commissioner Wicks? Aye. Commissioner Copper? Aye. Commissioner Taylor? Aye. Chair Kaner? Aye. Passes. Ooh, uh, lightning. <laughs> I was going to mention there's a big passer storm. Just, <laughs> just, just in time. time. I think it just got here. <laughs> Not, well, I hope I save you whatever was sitting on my computer. Yeah. <laughs> we lost, so, uh, well, let's see. We lost recording. Good, huh? We lost the recording, too. Recording. It's all off. All right. Mine's so, going, though. Oh, great. See? On. Well, there's the thunder. Well, it has night vision, too, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh there, there, there we go. Well, it's got this. It's got the all right. Video. So, uh, August 12th is set for the next meeting. Yeah. Um, you got anything else? The only, the only items have a, another fence request item that, that may be ready for that hearing and then we're still waiting for confirmation from AutoZone on their project conditions assuming they get that to us here as soon as possible and possibly could have the AutoZone project before them. Um, but their their clock is ticking so that may be a separate item. Okay. I have a question real quick about that. Who owns the big sign on that lot? Um, the, the one that's for um, Marine, marine or i believe that's the marines uh their sign i don't know if it's actually sanctioned by the owner or not but it's not it's an off it would become an off-site sign would you please look into that yeah i'll take a look at that and make that part of the report i would appreciate that. <laughs> all right now go ahead and adjourn the meeting congratulations thank you